on a fait de la musique au-delà de, voilà, des, des grosses sonos qui vont nous accorder jusqu'à ce soir, ce qui est parfait aussi. Moi, je voulais, dans le cadre plus, euh, plus intime de la galerie, nous proposer un récital d'un instrument traditionnel qui s'appelle le Dilruba, et euh, Jatinder va nous en expliquer. Alors, la présence de Jatinder, elle n'est pas anodine. Elle est, en fait, Jatinder est le, le mari d'une artiste de la galerie euh, que j'aurai le plaisir de montrer en février 2017, Johanna Tagada, qui est parmi nous et qui, bah, nous, qui nous a fait un, qui fait un très bon thé pour la suite. Voilà. Alors, uh, you want to explain the... Yeah, um, thank you all for coming today. Um, today I will be playing um, Indian classical music uh, on a system based on ragas. Raga is a Sanskrit word for love, and this also means color. And in Indian classical music there is various modes, various feelings, uh, which are tuned to a certain number of notes. Um, this instrument, which I have here today, is called the Dilruba. Uh, Dilruba is a Persian word for um, heart stealer. Uh, this is a very rare instrument, um, created around the 17th century, so late 1600s. Um, we I guess you all know of the sitar, which is sitar, a uh, famous Indian instrument made famous by Ravi Shankar and the Beatles, etc. Um, but the Dilruba was not so famous. It's, it's, uh, it stayed in a small community. So it's a Sikh instrument. Uh, the word Sikh means to learn, and it's uh, a dharma, a faith of started by Guru Nanak Deji in North India, Punjab. Um, and the main focus was music was made or it been used to elevate the soul. Music is used to connect and connect to God, connect to oneness. Um, and the Dilruba hasn't been played much on the stage these days. It's still quite a rare instrument. I had the fortune to learn this in England with a teacher and also in India. And today I will play uh, a short alap and jor alap, which is a it's a slow type of build up to the raga, and its main focus is to help with meditation or help focus and relieve yourself of stress or anything. So when you're trying to listen today, I would like to advise that you can forget everything, forget where you are, forget your problems. Anything you have, just relax and do not try and think, just try and elevate yourself in the music, like I try to.
fan of Buddha, uh, coming from my <laughs> usually it will be someone sitting here with an instrument, usually on the side. It's a big, large instrument that creates a drone sound. Um, but I couldn't find the instrument here, so I have an electric version. It, really, it doesn't ask for money or it doesn't ask for food, so it's okay. Um, uh, but now I'll um, sing for you, actually, because I feel like singing. I wasn't going to plan to. But, um, I will sing some devotional hymns that are usually sung in the Sikh court in the Sikh temple in northern India. Oh, God. 
Any other questions? <laughs> Okay, everyone's happy. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you.